Hi there, this is my take on chicken bolti. So let's give it a go. Um, my ingredients are just a basic chicken bolti with garlic, ginger, um, onions and fresh coriander. This is a base, so if you've got the fresh coriander, great. If you don't, get the jar, um, paprika, mild curry powder, chilli powder, turmeric, cumin, garam masala and fenugreek leaves. Um, if you don't have that, it's not essential. Um, start by chopping as fine as you can the first three onions. Um, the quantities I'm going to uh, quote for are for four to six people. But, um, I'm doing a batch so I can freeze half of it. It's going to be for two. Um, so the first onions get chopped. Um, I'm going for two cloves of garlic, um, fresh. You can use the jar, it's up to you, but I just prefer it that way. Um, it adds as much as you, you think, but to start off with, if you've never done it before, I'd go with the two. Coriander. Um, I like to use the stalks as well as the leaves. Um, chop it as fine as you can. Um, it's again, it's personal taste, but if you've never done it before, just watch the video as it plays through um, for an idea on my idea of how much I like. Um, there was a, quite a bit in this one that I made. And it's just worth bearing in mind that this is a basic chicken bolty. Um, I've forever tried to make jars and never really been happy. And after a few videos I've seen on YouTube, I thought I'd contribute my own ideas. You could add anything else that you like, mushrooms, obviously spinach, uh, lentils, anything else that you prefer to put in there. But this is just for a basic recipe. So, first of all, a little bit of our sunflower oil. Uh, you can use ghee, but I just use normal oil. And put the first three onions in that you've finely diced. The point of this is we're looking to make it an onion puree. Um, so, they go in, just coat them slightly with the oil, and then add just to the level with boiling water. And we're going to be looking to cook these for about 15 to 20 minutes. Um, let them go nice and soft and slightly translucent. And then with a blender or a masher if you haven't got a blender, we're looking to get them into a nice watery paste to add to our curry. So that's the onions done. Now we're going to get move on to preparing for the rest. The first thing we're going to do is make our spice mix. Uh, that's going to be quite simple. We're going to get one teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon of curry powder, one teaspoon of chili powder, teaspoon of cumin. Leave that to one side. So now the onions have had a good 20 minutes. They've gone slightly translucent and a bit mushy. That's all you really need to do because the blender will do the rest of it for you. You don't want to pulverise it to almost a, a complete liquid. You want some kind of consistency in there. Um, and you'll see on the spoon it's not quite fully watered. It's a bit of a pulp really. That's ideal. Okay, now we start cooking it. I'm going to brown off the chicken, um, season it with salt and pepper, and just get them nice and golden brown. Um, five minutes, if that really. Um, and then you want to leave those on one side and um, keep them away from what you're doing for a minute. Right then. Okay, here's the curry base. So the remaining onion that you didn't cook, um, added a little bit of that in first of all, and then take some puree. Um, don't pour it all in, you just want to get enough to mix the spices up initially. So I've put about two or three ladles in. Just watch the temperature that it doesn't dry out too quickly and get too hot. Once you've done that you can add your garlic, add your ginger and add your spices. And the rule of thumb here is not to let anything burn or get too hot. Um, just keep it moving all the time. And it should be fine. Okay, that's had a couple of minutes now. Um, I'm just going to add a little bit more puree there. 
Let them stop you from drawing it too much. And that's the ginger. I forgot to put it in straight away. Just note with my um, video there that it looks a bit red on the right hand side. That's just the way the lighting is. The, uh, the best way to judge it is from uh, the curry that you can see on the left side of the pan. That's how I saw it. You can see the shadow of the cooker hood and it just makes it look a little bit red. Okay, a bit more of that puree. In goes the coriander and the stalks. And now it goes to the chicken. Now I had a little bit too much chicken here, but that's what I'd left over in the fridge. So I just went mad. And again, this was a batch that I was going to make for one meal and another for freezing. So it does look a lot there. Well, there is a lot. But however, just bear in mind you can add whatever you want. I usually run on a guide of about one chicken breast per person. Now that's slightly coated, I'll just add the rest of the puree. We're nearly there. And there's tomato passata. You could put tin tomato in there, you could chop and put fresh tomatoes in. But I just like the, uh, the consistency of the, the sieved tomato. I put about half a container in there, that's a 500 uh, milliliter uh, carton, so about 2 250 went in. And you're pretty much done from there. You're looking at about 20 minutes, but the longer you can leave that and simmer, the better really. I went for half an hour with this one, but sometimes at that point I'll put that in the slow cooker and leave that for a couple of hours. That's the fenugreek going in, and one teaspoon of garam masala, five minutes just before it finishes, and it's done. And the chips are optional, but I can't have a curry without chips. I hope you enjoyed it. Add some comments at the bottom, and thanks for watching.